their first ever game was managed by one of English football's biggest names, Rio Ferdinand. I want you to each go around the change room and put your name. But this isn't a Premier League team, this is Rebel FC. Let's go! A love of football is what unites this alliance of social media influencers, YouTubers and vloggers. The grassroots movement mixes football with entertainment. Aside from live matches, glimpses of behind the scenes, fan punditry, pranks and challenges, they make up most of their online content. I started uploading the first video on YouTube. It all went really well from there. And uh, I continue to put it on Instagram, uh, Twitter, where all fans can sort of follow it and keep up to date. And it's those fans who came to see their idols in person at this event in London. I want to meet today uh, the Sidemen, Rebel FC and YouTube All-Stars. While the football teams regularly engage with their fans online, this was also a chance to meet them face to face, to share a stage and pose for a selfie. There are 10 social media football teams in the UK and their audience following is growing by the day. But it's this interaction here with the fans offline and online that the football team say is behind their growing success. And as one of the world's leading football freestylers tells us, authenticity is key. You can actually ask, okay, who do you want to see us play next? And they can actually have their input in it. And as soon as you can engage with the audience, that's what takes it to the next level. All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome to the final episode of the Wembley Cup. And that's exactly what Spencer FC did playing two finals at Wembley Stadium, which pulled in over 20 million online views. And we are underway. On a week-to-week -week basis, some matches played by these teams average more than 600,000 views per video. That's a bigger online following than some games receive in the lower leagues of English football. While most of their followers are millennials who keep coming back for more, convincing traditional football fans might not be that easy. Me, I don't really like them. <laughs> don't watch them. I prefer coming to a real game. While social media football teams say they aren't looking to replace traditional football, they do believe their biggest appeal is relatability. Especially at a time when fans are becoming increasingly frustrated by how commercialised and non-personal professional football has become. Oh, and it's probably actually easier to get into like one of those YouTube like football channel like football teams as well, isn't it? Rather than yeah. like a Premiership. Yeah, it's, it's a big market. And it's always growing. This has probably got to be the largest crowd for a football match with non-professional football. And by the looks of it, these amateur footballers have found a winning formula to kick the ball and their businesses in the right direction. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera, London.